Spring has finally fully begun. I hear birds fluttering away from me, and the rodents and raccoons that now prowl the streets searching for food have begun to see me as one of their own. Maybe I should be pleased about this, but frankly I don't take well to being considered vermin, even by vermin. <laughs> Asher the Rat. I write this letter as though whoever reading it has read my last one, which seems unlikely. I would say much has happened since then, but I do not know if it has. My brother is now dead. It took some trying, but I was finally able to put him down. He was older than me and stronger too, but in death his wits left him, and luckily they have stayed with me. His wits, I mean. Everything he taught me is now contained safely up in my head. It pains me greatly to take his life. Of course, it wasn't a true life, not not even half-life, but that thing still had the face of my brother. I can kill the dead, even if it is about as fun as getting an affected toenail lanced. I wear his helmet now, a squat, bucket-like affair with tight, short eye slits and fabric stuck before the mouth to protect one from the plague. God's symbol is hammered into the forehead, a sort of angled H, where the lines point to the top and the bottoms are longer than the top. Industrially struck all through. I do not know where my sister has gone. All of my other older brothers were called away to fight the ones walking from the north to the south. I was supposed to stay behind to defend this town with him, but it was too quickly overwhelmed by the dead. I do not know where my path takes me, but I've begun to consider this. The dead all walk south and the living run from them. Eventually, both will run out of land, but when heading north, eventually, one will run out of dead. I suspect that when heading north, the dead will see me as trouble too much to chase me. A single bite of food, that's what I am. Distributed evenly among every corpse in the north, I doubt I would even make a snack. And so, heading north is what I will do. As I look out of the tower of this library, I can see the few streets in the city north of me, and past that green fields. All of them are coated in dead like a thick blanket on the earth. One cannot walk without stepping in corpses or blood. Of course, I do not know how to tell if the things I encounter are the dead or the not dead. I suppose it'll be easy to tell up close, but I'm not that stupid. Of course, I was trained as a knight. Not an archer, per se, but maybe I will be able to make a shot of it. And yes, despite everything, that was a joke. As I said, keeping my wits around me is the only way I suspect I will be able to remain sane. My break for the North starts soon. I will leave books or sheets of paper like this, clutched in leather-bound sacks to preserve them, leave them clutched in the hands of skeletons, up that this will entice people to see what this corpse was so curious about. Anything a dead man would clutch like that is clearly something of interest to the living. I don't suspect I'll have any enemies. But if I do, this will keep them on their toes. Any corpse carrying one of my letters might be me. There's never a guarantee. They might even find my last note and not know what they're reading. It's not as though I'll have the time to warn people of my demise. I could go on living forever in the minds of people who find these notes. Perhaps future generations will think of me as a boogeyman, prowling the streets with my raccoons and rats. Eat your vegetables and do your chores, or Ash will walk through your yard, ring his bell, and tell you it's time to die. I haven't mentioned this, but I've begun to carry an industrial brass bell with me. I ring it sometimes. Maybe it's because it's the metal of the gods, or perhaps it's so inhuman to sound, but the dead do not appear to notice it. No matter what, it will not attract corpses, though other humans would obviously be able to recognize the sound if I could find any. 
The throwing of a rock or the scraping of a foot does attract a corpse, but the brass bell doesn't. Ring it rhythmically as I do is a klaxon to hopefully pull people to my location to find some ally or friend in this hell I've woken into. Anyone who hears it will know that I am sane and that I ring my bell to find help. I only hope someone can hear it. Until my next note, I leave you, Asher. Still 16, 